Okay guys, got another hot tip for you. So what we're doing today is installing the oven. These things are super easy also. Um, I don't know what people charge to install them, but I could save you guys a bunch of money here. So if you look at the back of this, there's three wires, a red, a white, and a black. So all you need to do is unscrew them and screw them right back onto the new one. So what we did here, there was a hole for a vent. Um, this thing's like 30 years old, this oven that is here. So we just covered up the hole and you could do a bunch of different things. We're eventually gonna redo the floor here. So I'm not too worried about it. We just got some dog uh, <laughs> shoes. Shoes, I don't know what it is. It's <laughs> some kind called, of cardboard. They're bobs. Bobs. <laughs> got some pets on it anyways, that's all I know. Okay, so anyways, uh, what I wanna do is cut through this for mica, right? It's countertop. So, there's several ways you could do that. Um, what you wanna do is you wanna take some tape and you wanna tape it off so it doesn't chip the countertop. The old ones, see it fit, it fit in here a little different than these new ones do. So what you wanna do is put your tape down where you're gonna cut. And I usually like putting it, you know, on both sides, but this one, we're not gonna be able to put it on both sides very far because the whole edge is gonna get cut off of it. Okay, so I have it all taped off now, all the way around it. So what you wanna do um, is make sure and use a blade that's meant for laminate. What I did was I bought a jigsaw blade and the trick to these is you want to look at them and the blade needs to be cutting on the down swipe instead of on the up. Typical jigsaw blades are cutting when they pull up. These are cutting when they cut down. So that keeps from chipping your laminate. Um, so that's a hot tip for that. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to mark this all up and I'll cut it. And then I'll explain to you guys how to do the rest once we get this all cleaned up. Okay, so typically you guys probably won't have to cut your countertop. Um, this house was built like 30 years ago or so, so the older ovens are a little different size. Um, but if you do end up having to cut your Formica, um, like I said, you want to put this tape down and then you always want to use a straight edge when you go to a mark something and you want to get a nice straight line where you know right where to cut to. So I always use a level and make myself a perfect straight line. Exactly where I'm needing to go and that saves you a lot of headache and sloppy finish in the end. And I'll just mark it all out right exactly where I want it. Then I can just follow right down that edge. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and cut this. I'll show you guys how slick this thing will work. So what you wanna do is you wanna to try to keep this blade flat and not at an angle. That way it cuts nice and flat or nice and straight cut. As you'll notice, as I'm going, I'm blowing that dust out in front of me. So I 
could see the line. What I like doing when I cut something, if you'll look closely, I like leaving my line. So I'm cutting just on this side of it. That way I could go right down it and make a perfect cut. And so that's how I'll do this whole thing. Just wanted to show you guys kind of the way that I cut this. Okay, so I was gonna show you guys a nice clean cut. See that? No chips. So if you don't use the right blade on that, it'll ding that edge all up and it'll look sloppy. So you guys wanna be sure and make and use the right blade. You can use a router bit or uh, one of these jigsaw blades, but like I said, you want to make sure it's cutting on the down swipe and not on the up. Okay, so if you guys look on the back of these things, they usually have your instructions. What we have is the three wire hookup. And as you can see, the red goes on the right, the black goes on the left, and the white goes in the middle, which the white's the ground. So right here, these are just Phillips screws, so it'll be simple. Um, we'll just unscrew these and then also I was going to show you guys on this wire. If you look at it, it's got a red stripe through the red one. And usually that's how they are. There'll be some kind of indicator on that. I've marked it also just that way I know for sure because I couldn't see that red strip when I took it off. Um, but yeah, you just want to hook them up right like it shows on the back. It's super simple. Just three hookups and you're good to go. Okay, you guys, so I got this cut and about to slide it in show you guys. I turned the timer on. It's working like a charm. So then I'll slide this dude back in here and see how it turns out. There it is. See that? Power's on. Nice and flush on top. These things have feet underneath them so you can adjust it um, up and down if you need. And simple as that. So if you guys have any questions, leave the comments below. And if you want to keep up to date with Tip, tips and tricks on how to do handy stuff like this. Keep watching and we'll keep you up to date on all kinds of cool tricks. Make sure and like and subscribe. You know the drill. And